Kevin Espiritu, and I do a lot of different things. One of the things that I, I spent some time on is a site called Epic Gardening, which is started out as a hobby and sort of morphed into a, um, I guess, like a gardening educational platform. And mostly I talk about hydroponic stuff. Um, but as I've expanded into what I've done, like going into microgreens or going into uh, soil, all sorts of things, it's sort of just grown into a bit of a, a smorgasbord of, of gardening stuff. Um, yeah, so... Um, I, I think I kind of lucked into it the first time because I, I grew them as a hobby at the very, very start. I grew them, um, I just bought a kit online, grew them. I think I had amaranth, a couple of like, really colorful, cool ones. So like red amaranth, which is like a bright red. Uh, I had a cabbage that was green with like a sort of violet neon purple stem. And so I said, oh man, these look really cool. Like I bet I could sell them. Um, and so I walked along one of the better areas of, of San Diego, like this restaurant row. And so I went in midday, so between lunch and dinner when they're doing prep, and it's like the absolute calmest time in the kitchen. So number one, for me at least, that that is what made the difference. You walk in at any other time, and they're like, just go, I don't want to talk to you, right? You'll just, that kills you right there. Um, and then giving like liberal samples, letting them like do whatever they want with it, have as much as they want, uh, because you lock one of them down, it's, it's sort of like buying a software product or buying any recurring revenue thing, right? You lock them down, it really doesn't matter how much you give them at, at the start. You can give them a full tray. For you, your costs are like maybe 3 or $4 tops plus your time. Um, but if that's the difference between them saying yes and no, then you may have locked in you know, a $50 to $100 a week customer for $4, right? It's like really not a big deal. Uh, so just be liberal with your with your, your samples and then go in at times where it's, it's the most convenient to them. And then just like speak to them in the language that they that they understand, which is they don't care so much about exactly how it's, all the meticulous details of like how it's grown. They want like, how soon can I get it? How much can I get? What's the price? Um, is, it, is it fresh? Is it local? That, that sort of stuff. Uh, so just, I mean, I guess the, the biggest macro tip there is just thinking about it from their perspective, right? If you're the chef, you don't want someone coming in when you're prepping for, for the dinner rush. Like that's the worst idea ever, you know? So just flipping the script, like playing, playing the interaction through as if you're the chef instead of the person selling to the chef uh, helps you uncover most of that stuff. Thank you.